thing or sort of feeling in the camp? Was it uh, the pitch or another perhaps under par performance all around? No, we, we felt the pitch was, was doing quite a bit. So we feel like we've got the runs on the board and, and to get that early breakthrough was excellent. Okay, so you feel 150 can still be? Definitely, yep. We feel like we're in the game. Dan, can you tell us how, how you came to go from WA to New Zealand? And were you a chance to play first class cricket over there? Yeah, um, oh, I was playing grade cricket for Mount Lawley when I when I started to leave. I, I didn't think I was a, a an opportunity to, to play for WA. I, I felt like the players that they had there were were quality cricketers and and they had good youth coming through as well. So I felt like I missed my opportunity and and didn't want to leave it like that. So I f thought I'd get in contact with Mark O'Neill, who was the WA batting coach and was now the New Zealand coach. So I uh, contacted him and, and tried to tee it up from there. And you were 25 when you did that. Yeah. David Lee, um, Dean, uh, would that two parts, would that be the hardest batting conditions you've ever encountered? And uh, do you feel that, in, in a sense, there was a little bit of uncertainty under Brisbane about how to approach it to go for these shots or to try to hold yourself back? Uh, in terms of ha hardest, uh, obviously, I think so. Just the fact that they've obviously got quality bowlers and, and they put the ball in the right right areas and the ball was doing quite a bit. So, yeah, definitely um, you had to have a little bit of luck out there to hopefully miss the ones that moved. And, and obviously, if they didn't move, you've, you've got to make sure you hit it. So, um, in terms of how we approached it, we, we wanted to make sure we were accountable for, for how we batted. And, and I thought we did that. It, it was tough and some guys edge it and that's, that's part of cricket. And, uh, but we're, we're accountable for what we did and we're, we're quite happy with 150 on the board now. What was the key to your innings? Uh, probably missing the ones that, that moved. <laughs> <laughs> ben, when did you find out about Dan Vittori pulling out? How late was that? And obviously a pretty big blow. Yeah, definitely. Uh, it was probably, I think he started to warm up and realised that it wasn't good enough and, and then decided to pull the pin. Yeah. You were... Playing club cricket, you're a very steady batsman, I guess. I mean, you never, I guess you, your stats show that you never really started, but you never had a, a bad year. And it seems to have continued on to what you've done now. Have you, have you changed your batting much in the last two or three years? Yeah, I think I've improved a lot. Obviously, I've worked pretty hard with Bob Carter and now with John Wright. So they've made me improve a lot by, by making me work hard. Um, I probably didn't train nearly as much as I, I had to, to to perform at first class level. and. And I feel like I, now that I'm a professional, I, I can put in the time that I need to. Do you feel like you want to prove something in front of Australian crowds? Is, there an, is that an added incentive when you're playing? Oh, I don't think that there's any uh, added incentive needed. Obviously, to play for New Zealand is a huge honour, and I don't take that lightly. And and obviously, to play Test cricket, I don't think you need any more incentive than that. I wouldn't have even dreamed of this <laughs> two years ago. So, just to play, be out there is awesome. Who's your pick of the Australian bowlers? I thought Siddle and Patterson both bowled really well. Uh, they bowled really good areas and, and were tough to get away, obviously. They moved the ball and, and, and bowled well. Chris? Uh, your captain did look too happy with his dismissal today. What did he say about that when he, when he came into the shoot? Oh, I was patting I didn't really see him, sorry. Yeah. Any questions? Would you guys have bowled if you had won the toss? I'm not entirely sure. you have to ask Roscoe that, sorry. Thanks, uh, with the seaming, hopefully uh, us, our four seamers that we've got in can do the job. So hopefully it doesn't doesn't uh, prove any any price really.